Max, ibang klase yung numero doon. Tinan mo. Bakit nga? May pausor yan, may ice sa maiso. Tapos, of course, hindi natin pwedeng kalimutan itong dating captain ng Thai national team na si Sang Wang. And of course, one of the former stars ng Thai national team na si Kutruang has definitely elevated the offense para dito sa Rising Suns. At yan pong ating mga pinuntong yan ay galing kay Noel Zarate. Galing sa isang article na sinulat ni Noel Zarate. Dahil meron po tayong labing dalawang reinforcements who will be playing for six club teams dito sa ating second conference ng Philippine Super Liga. And that time, they go to De Los Santos. Alam mo, hindi mo nga nababanggit masyado si De Los Santos dun sa, fa dun sa top four. So, lima pala. So, lima ang kanilang maasahan talaga. And then, you ha also have these players who are good floor defenders. And then, you inject itong si Jen Reyes who was named as the best receiver sa ating first conference. And that's definitely a uh, top-notch team built by Coach Nes Pamilar heading into the second conference. They go outside some Wong. It's up to defend. Kanina nasasagot pa siya, pero ngayon she has wore the defense down with continuous and multiple attacks. An outside hitter was excellent. At doon nakita mo, coach, nakapagalit. He looked over at Jose and said, I want it higher. I, I, I think passive wingspan enables her to get past the attacker. Stands 5'11", but that wingspan exceeds that of her height. Maano eh, mahaba at uh, mataas tumalun. They go to Maizo. That's a solid wall there so far for Cagayan. I think that that support coming from April eh. And that was the kind of support from the back row na binabagay ni Coach Villet na sana tangan ng Petron. Makaka-attake ka eh. Pero sino yung susuporta sa likod? Lalong-lalo na pag nasagot yung mga palo nila. Ito na si Misao yung kanilang sitter. Doing the serving chores now for Petron. Their backs against the wall. Bang! Too many attackers for Cagayan. Pau Soriano, Sandra De Los Santos, Aisa Maiso. The two five reinforcements. That's already five. Take Pero pang isang naupo, oh, Jen Reyes will come and go, but always has been efficient. And then April Luce has been able to uh, outplay itong kanyang counterpart who comes from Japan, na si Misao Tanyama. Look at that adjustment in the air by Soriano. Usay talaga. I remember how Coach Dulce Pante reared and mentored this young player. Dati hindi pa masyadong bibo yan, mahiyain pa. Minsan napipikon, pero ngayon nakita mo naman, oh, against the best. Kayang-kaya na niya. Another great serve there by De Los Santos. Sang Wong says, thank you very much. I feel that this only Mick Mick Laborto who can match up with the attackers of uh, Gagayan. But she cannot do it alone. Dahil nililihis sa kanya yung mga atake. At hindi naman pwedeng habulin niya na lahat yan. Tatangkad ng Gagayan. Eh. Makikita mo, nga haba at matataas tumalun talaga. And another power serve here. De Los Santos cannot handle that. Actually, De Losario and Goheng have struggled hilap, here hilap today. Sila. If you can't handle, then you cannot receive. You cannot receive. It follows that you cannot attack. And if there are certain instances that they can attack, eh, kaya naman silang sagutin at depensahan ng Cagayan. Diyan sila nakakapuntos sa mga service errors ng Cagayan. But again, they have to uh, generate more consecutive points to be able to keep it close. Tulad na sabi mo kanina sa ating second set, talagang sporadic lang talaga yung yeah. mga puntos na ginagawa ng Petron. Finally, they were able to put two together here. But it was Mick Mick Laborte who was able to defend at the death. No problem pag si Laborte nandun eh. Problema pag nailihis. Yes, Soriano once again and she scores. We've emphasized the offense of Kotroang but I feel that she's also a very skilled defensive player good receiver saka kung buhayin niya yung bola eh pang atake talaga let's check in now with Ricky now Anthony and Ronnie let's get to know today's showstopper wearing jersey number 17 for Cagayan Valley 23 year old Juanida Kotroang so apart from being a star of the youth team of Thailand Anthony 
team captain pa yan, former team captain and ask Coach Ness what she's been doing to get so strong. Wala pa daw siyang ensayo sa lagay na yan. Juanita told me though that when she was young, she'd been, in, she'd been immersed to hard volleyball training already. So maybe that's why she's so good. Anthony? Thanks a lot, Ricky. Well, there she is on your screens right now, leading the charge. Lapa sa condition yan, ha? Grabe, no? Can you imagine when she's at the top of her...